Hi viewers, welcome to Learn Matap Sumbling Basic. Today we are going to see about a design of automatic generation control of two various system is in Matap Sumbling. So here you can see that this is a block diagram for a two area power system. So this consists of two area. So here you can see that. So this is area one, and this is. Area two. This area one and area two going be connected by means of a uh, tie line. So this is the representation of uh, tie line uh, for connecting two areas. That mean the output of area one is subtracted from the output of area two, and it going be processed via. Uh, the PS to the base integrator, right? So this is known as uh, uh, tie line connection between these two area. So each area having uh, governor uh, turbine and the rotating mass with the load. So otherwise called a generator load model. Okay. And then uh, here you can see that each area is seeing the change in load power, and each area is seeing the change in Power reference for the tail governor and turbine. Okay, so here we are going to uh, execute this. Then we are going to create this sampling model for this two area two area system. Other is called automatic generation control. So for that I am going to take the the data is given here, right? So here I am going to use this data. So here you can see that here we have transfer function side uh, for governor, turbine, and uh, A generator load model. So for that, I'm going to type a transfer function here. So first, we need a we need to create uh, the first transfer function. So one zero by point two s, right? So this I'm going to change here to zero point two. And then we need another transfer function with the one zero by point five s. And then here you can see that we need a summing block. So I'm going to change this round to rectangle, and then we need plus minus minus. So here I'm going to connect, and then we need another transfer function one divided by ten plus plus point six. So here I'm going to take. Transfer function and change the denominator coefficient ten and zero point six. So and then here we need one gain. So here I'm going to type gain and then I'm going to rotate this gain and I'm going to connect like this. And here we need one summing block. So here I'm going to use another summer. And then I'm going to change to rectangle, and then symbol will be minus and plus, and then one sign. Okay. So here I'm going to connect this one here, and then here I'm going to make uh, the gain equal to twenty. So next to process, <coughs> we need to create another area. Here you can see that. So this is another area. So here I'm going to take the copy of this one. This copy and then paste it here, and then I'm going to change. So here I'm going to change my plus minus, and then I'm going to connect this one here. And then we need to change the transfer function values, the mean coefficients. So I'm going to change the coefficient here. Just I'm going to change the coefficients. And then here we need to use uh, summing block with the plus plus. So just I'm going to change to plus plus. So next to process here we need to use another summing block. So I'm going 
going to use the summer summing block and then change the sign to plus minus so plus going to be connected to the output of area 1 and minus going to be connected to the output of area 2 and then here we need to use integration integrator so I'm going to connect output of that summing with the integrator and then we need to use gain so gain here will be 2 right and then here the gain is 16 so after that the output of this gain will be connected to the this summing block and then the summing block okay and then we need to provide step input here so i'm going to type step and connect i'm going to connect step input here and then the step time zero initial value i'm going to take point two and final value also i'm going to take point two so everything is connected okay next we need to see the the response of omega right so for that i'm going to use code so number of input here we have to use two so here i'm going to connect the output of area one and then output of area two and then we need to see the value of del pm1 del pm2 and then del p12 so del p12 nothing but this one this one is nothing but del p12 that means dial and power okay so next del pm1 so this is del pm1 and this is del pm2 so just we need to uh, see the <coughs> so here i'm going to use two number of input will be three so here i'm going to see del pm1 and del pm2 so once again we will check the detail so del pm this one is a del pm okay so we need to find the detail of so del pm1 and del pm2 and then and del p one two that is called uh, Thailand. So next to process, I'm going to change the uh, simulation time equal to one thousand, and then I'm going to see the results. So here I'm going to. So this is first one is um, that mean del omega 1 and del omega 2. So I'm going to simulate this one. So here you can see that this is a response of uh, del omega 1 and del omega 2. So this is del omega 1. So this is del omega 2. So we will get the same result. Okay. And then this is uh, del p del pm1 and uh, del pm2 and then uh, del p12. Okay, so we can check the result here, right? This one. So this is the result, right? So we will get the same kind of result for the two area system. So next to process, uh, uh, next I am going to use uh, integration, uh, that means controller logic, right? So here you can see that here I am going to con use the controller integral controller in order to make uh, del omega 1 del omega 2 equal to 0 right so we need to maintain a uh, change in frequency in change, uh, change in frequency value always equal to 0 so i am going to use uh, this data same same uh, diagram right here we need to use uh, <coughs> integration right so here you can see that so here we need to add this summing block integration and uh, the gain value okay so here i'm going to add this that mean i'm going to add a summing block and i'm going to change to minus minus okay and then here we need to use integration so i'm going to change to Yes, and then we need gain block 
so I'm going to use this gain and connect it here. The gain will is 0 0.3, and then here we need another gain also. So here you can see the some uh, problem is there, right? <coughs> so here del omega one is directly connected here, okay, via B one, and so this is going to be connected here and via B two. But in this diagram, mm, the twenty and the sixteen nothing but uh, the gain of one by R one and by R two. Okay, so here there is a problem I think. Okay, so they are connected uh, wrongly. So we need to take the value. Uh, 20, uh, so you have to take twenty point six, and then you have to connect here. Okay, and then you have to take the this point will be from here. Okay, and then same thing here also you have to implement same thing, but here we need to use another. Summing so here will be plus minus, and then you have to use integrator, and then you have to use gain, and then you have to connect this 0 0.3. And then, <coughs> so here you can see this is the tile and power, right? So you have to take this tile and power, and you will be connected here, right? And then you have we need another gain is 16.9 so you have to connect here and then here also okay So now I'm going to simulate this result and then we'll check the response. So now we can see that so we'll get this kind of result, right? So this is uh, del omega one and uh, del omega two, and then this is del pm one, pm two, and uh, you can see that uh, del p one two. Okay. So here you can see that we will get the same. We will get same kind of result, right? So this result, this is result are same, and also we can. Check this result, right? This result, this result are same, right? But you can see here that in this book uh, they are connected uh, the line, right? This line, right? Directed from here, so I think this is on, right? So we need to connect this line, right? So we need to use uh, that means this should be connected here, and this is also should be connected here, right? Because as per this uh, uh, integral control of uh, two area system or automatic generation control, so here you can uh, see that right connection will be taken from here, right? So we need to change the detail accordingly. So you have to change the connection accordingly, then you will get the result. Okay. So this is uh, uh, the design of automatic generation control of two area system using MATLAB simply. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe to channel and also click the bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you so much. Bye bye.